Hey everyone, welcome back. And I haven't posted here in a while, so I wanted to give an update on some exciting new things that I have going on with my channel and the direction I'm gonna be going in 2021. Welcome to 2021. It's crazy that the first month's already gone. We're in February actually, so it's kind of a trip that I'm doing this now, but now's better than later. So, um, Here's where I'm at with a few things going on right now. And uh, 2020 was such a crazy year last year. I mean, all of us went through that. We had COVID, we had politics going on. We had shutting down and opening up and shutting down again. We had so much noise. It was amazing that any of us were able to get through that the way we did. So how are we going into 2021? Well, there was a lot of things that I learned from last year that I'm bringing forward. And there's some changes I'm making uh, in my life and my business and I've seen a lot of other entrepreneurs and business owners do as well. Going forward in 2021, I've noticed that it's going to be a lot more important how we're managing our business online, how we're learning to communicate uh, through online channels, whether it's social media, whether it's YouTube, podcasts, uh, whether it's connecting with other entrepreneurs and having meetings on places like Zoom uh, or online uh, forums. Uh, all those are very important. Getting your message out, connecting, and able, being able to build lists and tribes and a, around a platform that, of your business online. It was so difficult for so many small businesses and entrepreneurs in 2020 that didn't know how to set themselves up online for success, whether it was sales and marketing or understanding the technology it took. Uh, I mean, just look at Netflix, look at some of these Zoom uh, stock, everyone just flooded online and try, started trying to figure things out. Some of these businesses uh, have been putting off and entrepreneurs have been putting off really learning certain aspects of their business and how to apply it online for years. I've owned a digital agency for the last seven years and I talk to, I've talked to hundreds of business owners and I've worked with dozens, maybe even over a hundred we've built websites and done other, other things for. And a lot of business owners look at online marketing as just something they kind of got to do while their regular business is running. However, 2020 taught us that if you're not set up, if you don't have a list that you can market to online or a platform where you can communicate and reach out to your ideal customer or you know, dozens, hundreds, or thousands of people and let them know, hey, my business shut down, but you can come in and order from me a certain way, or if you can't disseminate a message to your ideal customer or your past customers through an online marketing uh, method or email, you were sorely at a disadvantage in 2020. And I got so many calls from business owners and entrepreneurs who were like, how do you do this or that? Because I owned a digital agency. And a lot of them thought, well, maybe if I do some ads or maybe if I do this or that. And the sad thing was is that a lot of people weren't necessarily in the new buying mood. A lot of people were really just hunkering down and figuring out what they were gonna do. However, places like Amazon, people who had successful platforms on YouTube or through their podcast or a network, they didn't see a lot of downtime because people were already connected to those channels. So while the local business had to shutter their shop and figure out what I'm gonna to do to reach out or put up a sign in their window, or if some of these entrepreneurs that hadn't already built the list and were used to shaking hands or being at conferences or doing sales in an offline method that was just supported by online, all of them saw a huge dip while all these other people who had already set up their platforms and uh, had their communication, had their lists, saw their revenues go up. So it became so apparent that having an existing platform and having a list that already knows, likes, and trusts you was what the key was. So as I'm going forward in 2021, I'm thinking about how I can apply that to my business based on my years of experience, but also how I can get my content out there to help those people uh, who are struggling or who are looking at reinventing themselves or pivoting in 2021 and making sure they don't get caught like that again. So how are we gonna be able to uh, build a platform where we can have content and communicate with our ideal customers or draw them in and then build a list of people who know, like, and trust us so that we can talk to them directly on a consistent basis? Well, that could be something from a YouTube channel, it could be a podcast, it could be knowing how to market on social media effectively, it could be how to use certain platforms online like a, a TikTok or Clubhouse or any of these platforms that have uh, a, a really strong organic reach right now and how to leverage some of the older ones uh, and using uh, 
some of your messaging and content to be able to distribute out through them using tried and true methods. Or it could be anything as simple as just setting up and using your Zoom uh, and how to network and uh, do sales and marketing online through Zoom, through sets of setting up uh, things like Calendly, where you can schedule calls, people can schedule calls with you and your brand, and also how to set up a personal brand or business brand online effectively. Uh, maybe you're just selling a digital product online, or maybe you are someone who is a local business and you need to learn how to set up your Google My Business and utilize uh, reach in your organic uh, content as well. So this year I'm committing in 2021 to growing this YouTube channel. I'm gonna I'm going to call my shot and I'm going to really commit to getting my videos out. I'm going to try to do about 50 videos this year on YouTube and uh, grow my channel to over a, several thousand subscribers. Um, I'm very, you know, I have like a thing going on a hundred subscribers now. So I'm going to look at getting over a thousand subscribers this year of my ideal customer and audience and helping you become better online as well. Uh, at this point, we've also set up and worked with several entrepreneurs who've set up uh, podcasts and YouTube channels, and uh, we've seen some of them grow uh, excitedly, and I have a, a, a couple of new ones that are coming up soon that I'm doing uh, joint ventures with. So I'm going to grow this channel, though, and I'm going to get that out and uh, help you all grow your channels and, and with the knowledge that I've learned over uh, over the last seven years of owning my digital marketing agency. Another exciting thing that I'm looking forward to is I'm going to be doing a lot more interviews. So I've kind of been running a podcast of sorts, uh, meaning that Breakthrough Code is already a podcast and it's already out there on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. And But I haven't really run it as a full interview um, type format. So I'm looking forward to just networking with other like-minded entrepreneurs, those that are that have succeeded in building their platform, in building their branding and messaging, in getting that out and disseminating it, and building lists and tribes, and how you can benefit from a lot of those interviews while I learn myself along the way and build my brand. Um, also, too, uh, it's going to be exciting because I'm been pivoting a little bit to where I'm working a little bit more on impact oriented projects. And what I mean by that is that I'm working on some giving type uh, projects. Uh, I'm working with a group right now that is building their podcast and channel, and I'll be launching that soon, that is building houses in Africa. I also am working with a first responder uh, podcast, and they're uh, working with firefighters. We also have a couple of other projects that are in the works where we might be doing some global type uh, uh, monetization of certain types of products, but I'll share more with that as I go along. But along the journey, I'm going to be sharing how I did that and how you can do the same thing and some opportunities that might really help you. So stay tuned and I'm going to be bringing as good of information I can from uh, my past experience, having interviews with some exciting new people and also talking with organizations that are making impact happen, whether it's social, environmental and sharing information from organizations that are doing amazing things here uh, at home and abroad. I'm so looking forward to sharing this journey in 2021 as we all start rebounding and getting through this together. So please like, subscribe, and leave a comment of something that you have going on or something that you want to talk about or see coming up on this channel. I'll be happy to have you on if you're somebody that wants to get interviewed and come on and tell us your journey and your story. And I'm just looking forward to being with you all throughout 2021 and see how this uh, turns out. Together we're stronger and we're going to make it through together and I'm looking forward to that journey with you. Take care. Thank you so much and we'll see you next time.